Hello, welcome back to me. Uh, this is a piece that uh, I'm working uh, these days. I'm, um, it's gonna be a set uh, with another table that I created for the same customer. And probably you remember this wallpaper. Uh, I created the, the desk using this and the burla. Uh, but customer said that she wants to, she doesn't want to have all the furniture in this uh, in the room the same color. So we decided together to play uh, to play a set a little bit different to be connected by the wallpaper actually. And so um, now for this piece, uh, she said she would like to have to have it painted this color, this blue. And because I could not find any similar color in visible, uh, then of course, guess what? I started to create one. <laughs> so I already played here uh, some um, some preliminary uh, tests. These are this is the preliminary plate, and now I'm gonna show you uh, because I know roughly how much quantity I put but I want to make sure so I took another plate a new one these are the colors that I'm playing with Yankee Blue, Blueberry, Bunker Hill, uh, Cobalt and Lucky Lavender so I need uh, because I don't want to contaminate uh, the colors. I will need uh, for each color one uh, spoon. I didn't have plastic spoon, but I had this from transfers. So what I'm gonna do now, because as I told you, I already know a little bit uh, how much mixture of each color I used. So I'm gonna take ah roughly different amounts. I needed a spoon, but anyway, okay. And I know that I used this in equal quantity. And a little bit more to make it really even. So half, half so far. Okay, and this will be a little bit challenging because this is very liquid. Let me move it here. And this also almost half. Actually, I think most of the colors are half. Are equal parts, sorry, not half, equal parts. And uh, the blueberry, I think I will not need in the final mix because um, after I put that one, I, uh, I, I added the Lucky Lavender, which also has the same tones as the blueberry. So I'm trying now to avoid the, the blueberry. So let's see how everything works. Okay, so... First, I'll do this. coming with the brush and I mix them better. Yeah, this is the color. Maybe I will need a little bit more cobalt. It's a very cobalt is very well pigmented with the uh, blue. And so um, I think I would need a little bit more cobalt, but let's see. So this was the color with all the uh, the color that I that resulted with all the mixture the done equal parts. 
it is okay but it's not as vivid as this one at least in reality so i added a little bit more of cobalt and i think with this one would be just what i need and yes so i'm mixing it well, 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 well. here and voila this is exactly the color i'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then um, uh, i will make sure that it's really the same color and then i start painting and because the hardware is quite nice i will not change it it's really beautiful and makes this furniture all the pieces that will be in the set they really put together all these pieces and uh, so i definitely want to keep them but i don't like how they look as you can see they are scratched they are having some stains here so what i am doing i'm taking this uh 220 grid as you can see because i already uh, made some uh, some uh, handlers uh, I already used it quite uh, a lot, so this is a 220 and this is a 420 which is super used and this one I will use for giving the piece some shine. So um, I will try to make only half of it so that you can see the difference just by the lower breast this one and give it some shine I think Bring it's a big difference right and I want to show you how I take out this stain from here it takes a while but uh, really worth it. A little bit of shine. Take away the dust and here it is. Super shiny. So let's look a little bit at the, dis at the difference. Look how many stains there are on the on them on the hardware just the way this was and look how nice it looks now after I send it so this is the color it's absolutely amazing I love it I will probably never remember <laughs> what colors I mix so <laughs> I will have to write down but it looks so vivid, I love it. The coverage is good, of course, because all the colors that I mix are having very good coverage. So, uh, this is coat one. Let's see how it goes. So we are now on uh, second coat. And we have already a very good coverage, but uh, I'm just applying not a very big amount of, uh, of paint because, it's, as I said, it's already the cover is already very good. And I just love this color so much. I know I said it <laughs> before, but it's really beautiful. And I want to remove the, the, the surface because I don't want to put too much paint, I prefer to play a little bit with very small amount of paint just to uh, equalize the paint here and there. So for the interior of the dresser, I decided to uh, play with the colors that I have uh, in the silk paper. 
So um, the blue on the outside is uh, one and for the interior I want to play a little bit with the gold and a little bit with this pumpkin color that I have in here. So um, yeah, I'm painting now the, the yellow part which I tinted a little bit with the, it's this is mustard and I tinted it with the, a little bit of uh, color green because um, as I said I really want to, to make the same colors and on the wallpaper it's not uh, really a mask but it's more of this tinted uh, yellow so this is the second coat and hopefully the last one for the interiors of the drawers because the wood is really in very good condition I'm using the Big Mama's butter which is uh, very good wax for protection it smells very good and it hydrates the wood in a very nice way and keeps away the old furniture smell and <clears throat> this, this actually this stays on the furniture for years i used uh, on, on one of my pieces about uh, two years ago and it still smells the same it's amazing Okay, so after measuring and cutting the seal paper, put it on the spot, clean a little bit of excess and repressure with a wet towel. Press firmly and take the majority of the air bubbles. So I'm measuring from margin to margin where I want to place the paper make a small mark and then cut I made the the mark I keep the finger pressed here and then go all along and with this sharp knife I go and I cut and because this uh, hardware cannot be removed from the furniture I have to cut the wallpaper so I'm creating some signs. Like this, I know exactly where to come and cut. Make sure that I will not move the wallpaper from the furniture. Okay, and then with this very sharp knife, I come and I cut around the edges. Okay, so I edit the glue. And now I come with the wallpaper which I cut already. I measured, cut and it is perfectly in here. Make sure it is right, straight, everything. a little bit of the excess of the glue and also press and make sure it sticks using the same big mama's butter i go and i also hydrate the wood on the side and here underneath And because I wanted to connect the inside with the outside and with the overall, overall with the, with the wallpaper that I'm using and that has a lot of gold, I decided to go for these um, small frames with the gold. And for this kind of uh, narrow spaces, the best to use is a very small artist brush. And the product is the um, uh, gemstone mousse in golden, which is super creamy. I added a little bit of uh, top coat inside to make it even uh, more fluid. And I'm taking a small amount and I just distribute it equally like this on the surface and with a lot of attention. 
just go and I spread it. Bring the phone back. Back. It takes some time, but the result is just stunning. So, what I've done already, I put the first part of the wallpaper, and now I'm I cut the the second part, which is here, and I'm trying to match the images perfectly so that nobody will be able to see that this is glued. And with the plastic spatula, I come and I take out all the air bubbles. So I'm now doing the my favorite part, my favorite part, which is uh, <laughs> waxing, dark waxing. So I applied already the clear wax about yesterday, and uh, it is very important with the black wax to go lightly. So that's why I clean very well the brush, and I go first in here on the wallpaper. And I'm darkening a little bit also this part. And even this super very small amount, I still don't like it. I don't like, I don't leave it so intense. So I'm coming with a clean microfiber cloth and I'm removing everything that I think is too much. I don't put pressure because I don't want to remove too much. I want to be able to maneuver this, so I'm just barely touching the surface. So it's ready and I'm super happy with the way it turned out. Uh, I didn't go more with gold, I think it's enough, all these beautiful lines that I obtained with the gemstone mousse from Dixie Bell, I'm super happy with this product. And the only thing I've done around the hardware, I came with the dark wax and that's it. And inside, it's just gorgeous. And I have butterflies, everything is connected with the wallpaper, color matching, the Versace blue and Thank you very much for watching. I hope you will join me next week because I have another beautiful surprise for you. Thank you. Bye.